Pope Julius II commissioned Raphael to paint this beautiful fresco right here called the School of Athens. And again, they're referencing classicism. Classicism, of course, refers to uh, the Greek and the Roman Empire. So this at this time in Italy, they're doing all kinds of excavation. And a lot of the Greek Empire was in Italy as well as in Greece. And of course, the Roman Empire. You know, the origin started in Italy. So they're looking at these two great empires. They didn't know at this time, the average person did not know about ancient Egypt. So they see these two as the two that they know of as, a, you know, great uh, empires that walked before them. So this is a reference to whenever we talk about classicism, that's what we're doing. We're referencing the ancient Greeks and the Romans. So here we have an image. Uh, this is an artist trying to imagine what the School of Athens looked like. Now, classicism, you can imagine in ancient Greece, they were known for the being very knowledgeable. And Pope Julius wanted this scene on his wall, on this private library wall, because he believed all knowledge was divinely inspired. So Pope Julius II loved reading the classics. So he studied all the Greek literature and um, he also believed, you know, it was part of his religion. So here we have the combination of classism here uh, with a little bit of uh, religious undertone to it. So Raphael created this incredible image. Um, you can see here, this is a close up of it. And uh, you have two figures walking through the center, major focal point here, again, um, converging lines that really point towards them. And you have, um, he took uh, liberties here with the faces and made these all familiar faces. So this is actually Leonardo. You might recognize him here. He's walking through the door and um, he's supposed to be Plato. And then of course, this is uh, supposed to be uh, Aristotle. I believe this is Bramante. This is supposed to, the pouting man down here is uh, supposed to be Michelangelo. And so all over here, you see um, some of these faces are the faces of some famous Renaissance artists, not necessarily famous Greek philosophers. Uh, so that was a little clever thing he did. And this image here really gives you the idea of the size of it. Now, remember, these artists had many, many um, assistants, one to grind each color of paint down. Every pigment had to be ground down by hand. Then you had assistants that were prepping the walls, sanding them down, getting them smooth, and then they'd add more primer to the wall and they'd keep it cured. So the primer would bind, bond with the plaster. So um, Raphael in particular had a huge workshop and he is really known for his style. He taught a lot of his students uh, how to paint like him. So uh, it is hard to figure out authentic Raphael paintings because uh, he had so many students that painted in his style that he taught. But nonetheless, this is um, his crowning achievement here. Um, this is the School of Athens painted in Pope Julius II's private library.